Hello ringlets! What have we got here for you today? This game is called Armed and Gelatinous. This is actually only a demo that I've gotten off IndieDB.com. It's a free demo. Um, why am I going to play this or rather show you this game? Well, I recently played Influent, which is the creators are Free Flip Studios, and they tweeted me and thanked me for playing their game. Um, I started chatting to them and they said they had this demo out. Um, they had well, they had a Kickstarter for it, but unfortunately they didn't get the funding. And um, I thought I'd take a look at it and uh, put it on my channel to uh, at least promote the game and uh, and bring a video to you guys and, and make you aware of this. So, what is Armed and Gelatinous? Armed and Gelatinous is a game about blobs in space that well they tried to coexist with each other, but they couldn't. They keep bumping into each other and they didn't have any way of, you know, getting each other out of the way. Until one blob decided, ah, I can pick up guns. <laughs> Basically there's floating crates and guns and you pick the the blobs pick the guns up and they fire the guns and the guns actually stick, as you can see in this image, all around your character. Um, now one problem I have with this is that I have one controller. This game is aimed at being a couch co-op style game. I'm playing on a PC and I have one controller. I use my Xbox One controller. Now the problem with that is that I'm only going to, in this video, be able to collect the guns and shoot and shoot the rocks. It's a little bit like Agario. You get larger as you shoot the rocks. The only problem is I can't actually lose because I'm the only one player. So this video is, is more or less just going to be a look at a demo of a game because I don't have any other way to play co-op. But I think this game is pretty cool and it, it, I think in their Kickstarter video they did describe it a bit like Geometry Wars and games like that. I think it's a bit Agario like but I think it's colourful. I do think it's a console based game to be honest because I don't think many people on PC have multiple controllers and things like that. So I do think it is console based but I could imagine this kind of game being on like the Xbox Live store or the PSN store and being like a cheap maybe a cheap indie game for like I don't know five pounds or so. It's not been fully made yet this is not representative of the final product I just thought I'd put this on my channel to give free free flip studios a bit of promotion and I haven't been asked to do this I just wanted to do it to help out as I say go and buy influent if you are learning new languages it's a great game pick it up on the steam store I think it's on sale at the moment um, but yeah let's take a look at this game so what you do get your controller press start it obviously tells you what to do here moving around fire weapons but basically this is going to be quite a short video because all I'm going to be doing is picking up weapons and um, showing you what to do so we'll join the game and at the moment all I can do is bump into rocks but what you've got to do is you've got to pick up a weapon and start firing it so as soon as I start firing at rocks I can break the rock up and then I get a little larger. Now look at that, I've got like a rocket launcher on there, I've got like an RPG, pick up more weapons, but the idea is if I had more controllers here um, then other coloured blobs, I think it's red, yellow and red, yellow, green, possibly a blue one, but you pick up all these weapons and the aim of the game is to be the largest one. Now you can see how big he's getting there pretty big at the moment, that's what she said, um, but it looks pretty cool, I mean it's not a finished product, but look as well, look at the guy's face, right, as he's <laughs> as he's collecting more rocks, his face is blowing up, it's like he's stuffed his face with rocks, and look at his eyes as well, I like that, actually, yeah, if you look at this, right, if I move left, his eyes go left, look, he's like, oh, if I go right, his eyes go right, up, down, and look, you can send him dizzy but look at that all these weapons I think perhaps I'm not really gonna do a lot of criticism but the only criticism I could say is that it's like a lot of green gunfire is coming out and I guess that there there would be a lot more programming to do if they had um, you know a lot of different colors but I think maybe some of the weapons could look more like individual style colors and things like that but I've basically won the game. I think the timer, does it run out or? 
Yeah, you see, I'm just floating alone here. Shotgun. <laughs> Rifle. There's all kinds of weapons in there. But, as I say, it's not representative of a finished product. But it still looks pretty good. As you can see, they're player one wids. It's green, red, yellow, and purple. Um, but guys, check out Influent. I'll leave in the description any information if you want to go download this game and you have more than one controller. Um, you can download this game on IndieDB.com. I'll leave the details in the description of this video. It looks like it could be a great game. Um, it's just a shame they haven't been able to produce it yet. They, they failed to get the money on the Kickstarter. They originally picked the game up from another development team that had sort of kind of let this game by the wayside. You might recognize the poster in the um, apartment in Influent on the door. There's a poster of this and that's how I recognized it as well. But um, yeah, hit these guys up on Twitter. They're really cool guys and they actually thank you if you play their game. So uh, I just thought I'd bring this game to you guys. Anyway, Ringlets, I'll see you in the next video. High five!